be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. I have not been vlogging all week. It's been such a crazy, crazy week. I've been meaning to pick my camera up all week and it's just not happened. But we are at the house today, at the new house. So if you don't know, we are due to move in about a month. Um, we're trying to like get all the last finishing touches done and organized and we're doing today we're coming around to just look at the adventures of like furniture and washing machines and dryers and things like that richard is in the background rick currently has covid which is great he tested positive yesterday for covid i'm not staying away from him well i kind of am a little bit aren't i I'm made him wear a mask in the car down here um but i've been with him for like the last three days we've been in the car we've gone all over so I've just given up and resigned myself to the fact that I'm probably gonna catch COVID in the next few days. So I've been testing, um, but in the UK here, it's now not mandatory to um, isolate, even though you've got COVID. So he is just keep, you are well, gonna keep yourself away from people, aren't you? Yeah, just <laughs> Ooh. What? We've just been organizing, um, lots of different things so i'll show you actually we thought i thought i would bring my camera with you me today and show you lots of stuff that is going on oh my goodness at the house so this is the current state of the kitchen it is getting there um we have just been looking at sizes for these which are going to be our integrated tumble dryer and washing machine which is going to go in there which is going to be really handy and this has arrived which we're really excited about aren't we this is our smeg range which has arrived which i'm so happy with i think it's absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited to see this go in the only thing is it's got the stainless steel on and we haven't really got any stainless steel in the kitchen apart from on here but i think it's going to be fine um it's got the big oven and this is what i'm so excited about look at this huge like warming oven did you say that this actually goes on like to cook i think so you can actually cook in it it goes up to two four five so you can back the baking oven yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, so this is the top bit that sits on the top, and then it has six hobs on the top of this. I'm so excited for this to go in. It's going just over there in the, um, in there. And then we decided as well that we were gonna, that we're gonna do, so in the mantle here, is that what you call it? Yeah. I don't know what you call it. So in here is gonna be antique, mirrored glass splash back and then the range and our countertops are actually going on when are they going in tuesday, tuesday. so this huge island let me show you how big the island is <laughs> so this island is absolutely massive so we are we decided rather than having like an island and then table and chairs we spend all our time in the kitchen so we actually sacrificed the table and chairs for one big huge island because that's just, I know that's how we will use this space better. So we've got six um, counter stools that we're going to order. I will actually try and, well I'll put them on the screen, the ones that we're going to order from Maid. And they're like, is it buccal or boucle? I don't know how to say it. Like a buccal, like the white, like textured material. And then they've got really nice backs and black um, black legs on them, which we were a bit like, is that a good idea with kids? But you know, the, our youngest is 10. They're kind of past that stage now. So I'm very excited for those. We have also picked out handles for, so these long, antique brass ones are going to go here on the drawers so the island is actually dark gray and the cabinets are like a light gray and then they're also going to go on these big ones here so it's all coming together isn't it we've been trying to decide what lamps we want on here i think we're going to go for a very plain pendant aren't we yeah i got the <laughs> I liked the idea of those, but they're not going to work. Hold it up. 
We can st we we looked at these. I like the idea. No, I mean hold it where it's gonna go. Don't pull that face. They're not that bad. They'll go somewhere else, I think. <laughs> so they're not gonna work just because this ceiling here is actually kind quite low. So um yeah, it's not gonna work there. But they're still in progress, but our views are I will show you the views more when we go upstairs. We were, oh, we were really excited because when we came in today, the underfloor heating has gone on and all the heating in the house has gone on. So I can show you the floor better in here. This is the flooring that we went for. It is, it's underfloor heating, so it's so warm. I, I honestly, I can't believe how warm the house is. And this is, they said they've only put it on really low. It's crazy. <laughs> I thought underfloor heating would just be like, oh, it makes the floor nice and warm. The house is like an oven. Yeah, and it's only on low. It's not they cold. said it's only I'm on low. I've been cold sweats at the moment. <laughs> it's poor Polly. This is still in progress. Um, so this is our hallway. So when you come in the hallway, it's a little bit of a mess right now. These doors, we can't close them at the moment. And we're putting a different door on in the kitchen, like a crystal style door. So once you come in the hallway, you'll be able to see right through to Patrick's coat. It's being opened out so I can see <laughs> To closed. the garden. So it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, this door frame here is actually gonna be replaced with a large crystal style door. That says Lou, we decided to put in under the stairs. It was actually supposed to go here. It was just gonna make too much, take up all the space, so we've actually put it, literally just hidden it away under the stairs. It's Rick's phone going. I will take you upstairs. What I loved about this is, I love the shaping on this. I don't know if you can see it. It like curves as you go down the stairs. It's absolutely gorgeous. Rick's just dying downstairs. So this is the first floor bathroom. So we've gone for these patterned tiles which I love. Obviously a sitting behind the bath, which is here, which is just a really nice freestanding bath. And then we have a gold, big freestanding tap that goes over the bath. This unit is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you this once it's all done. So this is our sink basin unit. And then we have a freestanding sink that goes on top of this cabinet which has like um, a marble top and then this gorgeous like storage space which I absolutely love. I'll link that below for you because I thought that was such a bargain. And then here, <laughs> hello. It's too warm. It's so warm up here. Is that Busy? on? Yeah it's on, it's hot. We're gonna have a nice electric um, mirror here. The radiators have gone on, they are so hot. I like this radiator though, I was really happy with this. Oh, there is covers on it as well because it was all chrome, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah, I never it noticed. And we have two windows in this bathroom, which I absolutely love. Open that window, it's so hot. And can you hear that noise of the birds? So that's obviously really good for me because of the lighting and I can do loads and loads of like beauty content and share with you lots of like tutorials and things in this bathroom. I'm so excited for the light in this house because our house way we're at now is the most dull house. The sun rises on one side of the house, comes over the top of the house and sets on the other side. So at no point in the day does it get direct sunlight and it is so annoying, especially like for what I do for a living. So yeah, this is the shower we went for. Statement black shower doors, um, which are from a place called Bathroom Mountain. So we've got these in both bathrooms, haven't we? Yeah. Um, I really like that. It's going to tie in with the black framed electric mirror that's going there. This and unit. We couldn't find brush gold anywhere. No. Brush gold shower doors. Brush gold shower doors are impossible to find. So we have a nice brush gold shower unit going in here. And this is also from Bathroom Mountain as well. So it's got the freestanding basin on the top. We need to order a tap for there. We haven't ordered the tap yet. The tap for the bath is amazing. Yes, where is it? I'll show you, I'll try and find the tap for the bath and show you. Oh, amazing. oh it's here. It's here in all this junk. <laughs> um, 
here is the tap. So this is the freestanding tap that goes over the bath. So nice. And then the, where's the shower? It's in this one. Rick panicked me and told me that this had been delivered in chrome, but it's not. It's like a nice brushed, brushed brass. I don't know what you saw. But this is actually Effie's bedroom. She has such a lovely bedroom because it's got these two big windows, which I'm very jealous about because again, like look at the lighting in this tin in this bedroom. I am used to working and filming fashion videos in the most dull house and look at this light. It's so bright. Rick, it makes me so happy. So these are the views outside of the first floor. The windows are obviously very dirty. This is our decking that's going in. So we're having decking going all the way around the garden and then this bit at the top here is like a triangle thing. I don't know whether you can see. So we're gonna have a nice like seated area up there. We've got a few neighbors like round the back older buildings and then we have a huge side garden like round this way which is going to be the boys football garden so that's good this is max's room which is smaller than what he's in now but we're going to work it out aren't we yeah he's got to have he's here now then Max just turned up after football. This is the boys' room. Again, like, look how light and bright this house is. I'm so excited to move. Um, it's currently got Effie's bed in here. But this is going to be the boys' room. So I think the plan is to just do, like, two beds, one either side of the room. And um, but this is the ottoman bed that I ordered. But you can see the mistake I made. I ordered a double mattress and a small double base which was really clever so actually we're going to utilize this small double in Max's room and then the double mattress is going to be in Effie's room but yeah this is the boys room the radiator's gone on up here as well it's so warm that's not even on and it's so warm in here isn't it well they said didn't they they've been having complaints that the houses are too warm oh really yeah oh well we live in the middle of nowhere so it's good to have a warm house um, cool and then we've also got a really lovely high ceiling here, which is upstairs. Um, and then mine and Rick's room is in here. So it's actually smaller than the room we currently have, but we have big plans for storage. So this wall here is going to be completely built in fitted wardrobes that are going to be like this kind of depth and they're going to go all the way along the wall and all the way into the arc, arc what are they called arches i don't know what they're called what are they called Rick? i don't know and then we've just got a really nice ensuite which is coming together i oh, feel really like i know have you not seen it i feel like this whole house i wanted how i wanted it so Rick, we let Rick have the really like manly ensuite upstairs because I feel like the, the bathroom on the first floor is quite girly, which is what I wanted. So we gave him quite a manly bathroom in here. So it's like beige and black, and, actually really nice. And I've got a Rick high shower. Oh yeah, we were concerned about whether Rick's pet peeve is not being able to get in the shower and actually stand under it because it's always usually like well they always put them like this high don't they yeah and then you have to <laughs> so he's got the really nice big high ceiling and a shower that is actually bigger than him so imagine if they'd fitted it lower you would have absolutely had a tantrum so when when the kids are doing all day you can stand in there like that oh <laughs> and then we've got this lovely a radiator. I like this radiator. Do you like this radiator, Max? It's warm and it's not even on. Is it? Is that not on? Yeah, no. it's, very, it's on. very low. Very low. Oh. Say hello to the vlog? Or do you not want to be in the vlog? Hello. Max has been watching football. He's not been played today. He's got an injury, haven't you? No, mm. it's not on. It's a good job it's not on. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. These are the uh, yeah. knobs that we picked. Very simple. I like those. And then, yeah, this door frame is 
uh, the same as the one that's in the main bathroom. And then we've just got a very small little basin in here, and then we're having a nice electric really mirror Did they have the, here. Have they got the rails on these? Six no, you have to buy those separately. Yeah, yeah we're going to get them separately. Because I know otherwise you're just going to hang your towel like off there in your dressing gown. It's going to annoy me. And then this is the view out of our bedroom. I cannot wait to wake up here and look out of that view. I know, that's our decking. Mm -hmm. There has been a very expensive decking that wasn't supposed to be so expensive. But the way wood prices have gone up, it's cost, costing us an absolute fortune, but yeah, it's going to be worth it. Well, it's double the size of the garden. Yeah. Like you said, otherwise we'd have lost half, like a third of the garden. Yeah, exactly. So, so and then you can just see the patio down there. So we're going to have that as a nice little... Um, Barbecue area. Yeah, barbecue. Dad's barbecue. He's already told me that he's going to organise for the girls to come around for wine and he's going to cook us all barbecue. This side is where the boys football so it's going to be. Um, the 17 stone cut from the gym. So if you're 17 stone, you can come around for steak and scars. Oh, is that your plan, is it? Is that your boys' night? Yeah, but you've got to be all the gym lads. Stones to join in. <laughs> Kids, we are there to the football match. No, just be nice. Yeah, oh god, that would end up no, in tears. Kyle, Kyle wouldn't even play properly, would he? No, know. they'd get Kyle nasty, them boys at the gym. Not inside. <laughs> oh, are you feeling better? Hey? Are you feeling better? You, you look a little bit better. COVID, Mom. I, I know. I take two at a time, but I worked out my mass and size and I took four. It's very confusing about what you're supposed to do when you have COVID nowadays. Because you're not, you don't have to isolate, but then. You feel like you should. It just feels I've like just, a, a I've bad just cold. given up. I'm gonna get it. I know I'm gonna get it off it's you. Just, it's like a bad cold, but I have like triple vaccinated and stuff. Yeah. A bit vaccinated. You I were very like, ill last night, I weren't like you? This big. So, so Rick woke up this morning and was saying I'm how what a bad night's sleep he's had because he's been having hot flushes all night. And I was like, hello, I've been having these. It was fine, so I went. <laughs> like that's three months. I really like is the you know, and these nice high ceilings. So we've bought the most gorgeous light for Info there. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, actually, in future as well, I would like one of those tall radiators. Though. Is it shiny? Yeah. Nice you, have you seen? You've not seen it? Do you want to see it? Mm -hmm. Where is it, Rick? <laughs> oh, it's here. So we got it from Made, and it's actually on sale. Oh, what? Very nice. So this, wait till you see the pendanty bit. So that's the light Brushy. fitting. It's like black with brushed brass. In here. Different sizes, and they go like this. How nice is it? Very nice. <laughs> so that's going to hang in the what's it called in the landing with a high ceiling. But there's the different are they different sizes? I think they know. are. Wow. And all the lights will then like mottle out from this gorgeous like pattern glass. I'm so excited about this. This filming. It's just a very nothing area, isn't it? I'm good at filming. You are, you can do it whenever you like. Cameraman. Good um, cameraman. The next thing is that big Etta James picture you've got. Oh yeah, so we've got an amazing Etta James piece of artwork in our bedroom. Oh, so it'll probably go about there. What, the top? The top there. Yeah. Because you don't want it too high up. No. So you fit it there. Yeah. Because then when the light hangs down, it's not going to hang in the way. No. So you need the light up before you put it up. Okay. Cool. We'll bring it actually. Once everything's been cleaned up, we'll bring it here. Anyone hungry? Yes. Yeah. Should we go yeah. for lunch? I can't. Food. Oh, you can't. You got COVID. Yeah, you can. I can make you something. You can. It'd be very irresponsible, Mr. Bartle. It, it would. I completely forgot. <laughs> be very irresponsible. That's like some sick joke that that when you've got a worst cold in the world, and someone makes you wear a mask. <laughs> I made him wear one in the car before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you want the matte black switches as well, don't you? Yeah. Which is a good job. I've got an electrician to do them for me. Not anymore. I refuse. Are you not? You're not known as an electrician anymore. I am. Oh, fucking hate it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll get that. I would sooner pay oh, yeah. to do it. It'll do it for free. And also, well, we have a great big cupboard it. here, which has got the. Big airing cupboard, but we're also Whoa. gonna fit it out with um, I need more than stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So we have we're gonna fit so it. I know, isn't it? We're gonna fit it out with all shelving and stuff up here. 
for like some coats things and things. That tank is so we constantly have enough hot water. Apparently, we will always constantly have hot water, which as a family of six and a lot of washing, oh, which we'll doesn't often happen. On Friday, uh, Thursday night after football. Yeah, it's freezing. freezing, I know. No. Well, there's a funny story about that, because what the kids do is go, can you go and get showered? And turn the shower on. They turn the shower on, mm. then they disappear for 10 minutes and then come back and get showered. Yeah. And then every time each one of them does that, the shower's been running constantly for about 40 minutes. Yeah. And Guil then they sit there scratching their that. ass going, I don't understand why there's no water. <laughs> But especially with girls, like hair. Like what? Hair? Yeah. Hair. Yeah, it's true. It takes ages. Like two weeks oh. time, look at this lovely hair today. About two weeks time, we should be, it should be nearly there. It's all the last minute things. Well, we oh, I'll well, show you. April. Yes, we are moving in April. I will show you as well the garden because the garden actually goes on so far. So this is all our garden. This has just been planted so it's going to all grow up, but basically Sorry. this is going to be AstroTurf. Look at the toilet out on the garden. Who's this? <laughs> I have no idea. So I think the builders brought it so they could have a toilet originally when the, before everything went in. Um, so basically as far as you can see is our garden boundaries and then right at the bottom is um, stream and I'm going to have a nice little vegetable patch down here and this is going to be all astroturfed and this is going to be the boys like football-y part of the garden yeah. so to be honest, that was something that um, <laughs> <laughs> that was something that Alex did um, the, the boys yeah isn't it I know so Alex is going to fit all that with no mo astroturf and we're going to get one of those goals where it's like are they like training goals or something? You know, where you can put the things on, where you can shoot at them. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna like get one of those. Holes. Yeah. Oh, and this, you're probably thinking like, where's this, the living room? Was this my old room? This, so this was basically supposed to be on the original drawings, like a little snug, uh, sorry, a little study. But we've decided we are just going to use this room as a snug because we hardly ever sit in our lounge and our big sofa fits in here. So literally all that's going to be in here, all that's going to be in here is our sofa and then um, like a media thing on the wall with like the TV and that is it because when do we even use our living room? Once, twice a week? When do we then use that in our living room? But well, no, the, the only time we yeah. use it is to watch TV. Yeah, like me and you. We watch a film, or we all watch yeah. films together. It's yeah. not somewhere where we sit and hang about. We, we spend all our time around the dining room table, don't we? Yeah. All the time, with are spending time with the family and the kids in the rooms. Closer to the food, aren't you? But you do, if we are going to like sit, we all sit and have a meal, don't we? So we just thought the space is going to work better. And then stage two oh, I'm is... the kitchen. Have you not? Yeah. not seen it in a while. And then stage two is to put a big extension on Whoa. this wall, which is in the kitchen. And then that's going to be a big living area on the side of the kitchen. Where did these so, get? Living area and office. Have you not seen that? Oh. You and Cole Fraser did those. Did you? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Um. So yeah, this is the garden. I know, it's really sorting out. So we've got this nice patio area and then this is this space. Yes. Yeah. I'm just obsessed with my range. Ah. <laughs> you can have a, you could make yourself a proper outdoor kitchen out there. Well, I'm gonna get Tony you know where there. you have like the little fridge and sink and stuff. I want to get Tony under the granite works. Yeah, it'd be really nice. And then the wood panel. Hey, look on Pinterest. Look on Pinterest. There's loads of like outdoor kitchen. So when they're open, we just have this really nice, bright. So I'm so glad that we're gonna be in actually for summer. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm gonna go now. Have we done everything we need to do? Oh, do we need just need to measure up for Max's room? Yeah. So we're gonna go and measure up for Max's room wardrobe. And then um, I'm gonna go and get some stuff for tea tonight. I'm gonna do um, like a really nice curry night. Cool. Yeah, you can help me cook if you like. Yeah. So I'm gonna cook a really nice curry for everybody. I'm gonna have like family dinner and stuff tonight once everyone's back from football. So yeah, I'll probably oh, go to the shops. Oh yeah, you're gonna watch football? Yeah. So I'm gonna go shopping and get all this stuff for this curry night and then I'll get something nice for lunch. Nope, it's now outside, can't you? Yeah. Okay. 
kids. Yeah, can come in and out there. You can have a key for so that So we'll as catch well. up in a little bit. My camera has actually broken again, so I can't see very well on the screen. I am back home. I have been to, oh, I've been just doing mum's taxi service. Taking Effie to swim in with her friends, running Max here, there and everywhere. And then in the meantime, I've managed to go shopping and get all this stuff for um, family curry night tonight. So I'm going to do a chicken korma for the kids. And then I'm also going to do a spicy, like madras. Really spicy curry for me and Rick. I mean, I love, I actually love spicy curry. I've been meaning to show you this bottle as well. I got it off Amazon and it's like a gallon. Why is it picking this up as my face? It's a gallon water bottle. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. Today I'm not doing very good because it's actually two o'clock and I'm only at the 10 a.m. just because I've just been out the house and running around everywhere. But Monday to Friday, when I'm just at home working, I fill this up first thing in the morning and I leave it on the kitchen side and it makes me drink the water so much. And also, on the days when I drink this whole gallon of water, I feel so much better. I don't snack as much. I just feel like I have more energy. And the next day, I always feel more, like, less bloated because I think your body retains that water when you don't, when you don't drink enough. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot catching up to do though. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a nice curry. So I just got six naan breads, because there's six of us, and some chicken. And I got these um, lucky things to go on the side, some chicken, and then I'm gonna do a cor like a healthy korma. So I'm gonna use natural yogurt instead of curry. And then I got loads of um, spices and things. Some cinnamon sticks. I'm, at I'm actually going to try and make pilau rice for the first time ever. I've never made it before. I got some flaked almonds to go on um, my curry. And I've got all these like herbs that I've actually never used before. Uh, what was that noise? <laughs> I literally just snorted. I generally um, like never buy anything like this. I bought this like curry, like jars, jar of sauce because on the recipe it says you need a base sauce. But I never ever buy like pre-made jars or pre-made sauces or anything. I do everything from scratch, but a lot of these like, but one of the things I don't make like lots of different things, um, like one type of food is curry. So I didn't have all these bits and bobs. So I've got garam masala, some cloves and some cinnamon sticks because I'm going to make homemade pilau rice which I've never made before. Some fenugreek, I don't know what that is, I've never used that before. And then I've got like some bay leaves, some garlic, um, oh some mint because I'm going to make some, um, you know when you have like the poppadoms and you have like the yogurty mint dip, I'm going to make a homemade one of those. Loads of rice, um, just some olive oil because I'd run out anyway, not for tonight. And then we have, oops, a lemon and a lime and some ginger. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have three recipes to do. Um, a korma, a really spicy curry, and then the pilau rice as well. So I've got a few jobs to do this afternoon. I'm literally like, I don't know about any other mums, but at the weekend, especially as your kids get older, I'm just running them here, there, and everywhere. So. It is nearly half two. I'm gonna put all this away and then I've just got things to sort out. I need to go and walk the dogs. I'm gonna really quickly take the dogs down to like, we've got a big playing field quite close to us. So I'm gonna take them there so they can have a big run around. I actually bought Elton this big 10 meter training lead, which is really good because he can like run around on the lead and we can practice his recall. But if another dog comes, He's not literally just gonna like run off after this dog because he's still in training. <laughs> he's like, he didn't have his socialization and we got him when he was 16 weeks old. So we're, we're now having to like still redo all his training. He's so slow, he's so sick, bless him. So whenever he sees another dog, um, 
he just wants to run out and play but he doesn't understand how to play nicely his idea of playing is literally just like barking in another dog's face like this so it never goes well so i've bought this big 10 meter trainer lead so if he sees another dog like he's not just going to run off and like want to play with his dog and be too rough because that's generally what he does so I'm going to go and walk the dogs, then I need to go and nip up to my mum's and do a few things. She's actually away on holiday, so I'm going to go and do that. And then um, and then I'm going to come home, have a little whiz round, get the house all nice and tidy, and then cook for the afternoon. Now usually I would have a bottle of wine, but I didn't actually buy any wine today. I've really stopped drinking at home. Since I didn't drink when I was having my treatment and stuff, I've just... I'm really not that bothered and I've really got out of the habit of drinking at home but one of my favorite things to do is like cook dinner have smooth country playing on the Alexa and just have a really nice family meal when everyone's here and everyone is here tonight so that's good are you wanting a lift yeah see this is it mum's taxi service for the weekend it's gonna run this one up to football Take the dogs for a walk, then come home and chill out. I say that, but they're gonna want picking up again as well. Um, but I'm gonna chill out, do a nice family dinner for everybody. And this one, yeah, sick note over here. This one is um, finally given in and gonna go on the sofa. He's been refusing to just go and chill out for most of the afternoon, but he's actually, bless him, look at him. Finally asleep. No. Watching his favourite, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I have come to take him for a walk. Some dog has just absolutely frightened the life out of him. I hate when dogs owners don't. When you have your dog on a lead and then a dog owner lets their dog come over to you because so many dogs are nervous and Elton is so nervous around dogs he doesn't know. And it's so annoying when they just let their dogs come bounding over and he absolutely freaks out. By the way, looking lovely with his hair right now. But this lead is so good because it means he can have a real good run around without me freaking out that he's just going to run off. Look at him, he's so happy right now. <laughs> Are you happy? Come on, then. Are you happy? Are you happy? Hi! <laughs> 